Earth Rising. Okay, this is the final chapter. Let's see if I remember how to play this thing. I played in October? No. Yeah, in October. This is Earth, this is Star Control. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Welcome back, Captain. Shipyard? Thank you, I'm keeping, antimatter I'm keeping. My ship. This is the best ship you can ship. Phaser and Destiny Missile. A decent looking fleet, not not the best fleet. Anything else, Captain? I don't know. Give me the rest of my mission. Go get him, Captain. Whoever or wherever M might be. Sure. Okay. Hi guys, what's up? Sure is beautiful out here, Captain. What are you up to? Taking part in the first formal trade mission between humanity and the Taiwan. Which is a fancy way of saying we slowly fly back and forth between Earth and the whole world. It's a pretty good deal for us though, the Taiwan have incredible technology. And all they want in return is our most mundane stuff. Magazines, action figures, lubricants. Carry on. Thanks, Captain. Good luck out there. You too. Um, what am I doing? There is no Delator Max. Gave up on that. There are no other missions. The search for fish. The sanctuary world. Where should I be going? Should I go kick some scribe ass or something? Should I say hi to the pin thing? Six year, welcome back. Six year. Um well, was that system was something interesting to look at? Travel to the following system, or don't. But if you do, and you should, you will find something there, or you won't. Right. The system. It is Amortint. 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 Go. Star Control Fleet, we are described monitoring station Beacon 807. It was our responsibility to monitor the Spur and guard against the advance of the Entropy and Chaos. If you are to be the governor of the Spur, come to Beacon 807 and earn that mantle. I'm gonna see about Amor 10th first, if you don't mind. There's something over there. Lexite Ruin. We're back at that Lexite observation post, Captain. Not much more we can do here. Okay, okay. 
the boat. What was that? Beacon 807? Where is that? What is Beacon 807? This guy wants to meet us at the Beacon 807 in the Epsilon Visalis system. Is this a huge fight? Let's save the game. Shattered world. Tiny world. Ruins. Called ruins, Eddie. Ruins. Good name. We're back at those ruins, Captain. Not much more we can do here. Yeah, yeah, I've been everywhere and I've done everything and... Let's see about that beacon. Uh, hi. What do you monitor here? Mm-hmm. Hyperspace. Could we get updated hyperspace maps from you? We could but First you must prove you comprehend the value. So you're giving me missions now? What's black hole activity? Fine. Fine. Okay. Investigate the issues. Okay. Look into a dying, dying sun. That's far away. Okay. Captain, we're receiving a distress call from this system. It looks to be coming from this planet. That's a measured system. We aren't able to get a stable mass update for the sky. If something is making the mass in this system unstable. Anything else? Are the measure doing something about this? Ruins. Fungium. Acid. Toxic. Yano's Yano's laboratory. Oops. What? Oh, it's not death yet. It's just a human. Welcome to Capson. Not death. 
Death should be along soon. This is a doomed world, cursed because we lost the favor of Almighty Jeff. How are you doomed? Our star has only a few years left before it explodes. It's going to get pretty dark around here then. Yeah, I imagine it's so. It's not a good news kind of day. Uh, actually, when the star dies, it explodes, so it won't be cold and dark. It will be bright and melty. That isn't any better. Why don't you move, everyone? There are millions of Malings on Captain. Even the largest intraplanet transportation system wouldn't be able to move more than a tiny fraction of us. Why is there a measured star base next to your star? That is a very good question. We don't know. They don't talk to us. Maybe they're fixing our star? Doubtful. That seems unlikely. Maybe they will talk to you. Can Jeff help with this? Jeff can do anything. So, yes. Please find out what we did to anger him. And then make it all better. The closest Jeff emergency beacon is in the Epsilon Shipio system. You can use that to contact him. It's defended by scary drones, though. Countless Mowlings have died trying to clear the drones so we could say hi to Jeff again. Great. Jeff be with you. Okay. Let's see what the measure they're doing. What you doing, guys? What's up? Supply dialogue security validation. Uh, password one two three. Incorrect. Dialogue termination protocol commencing and concluded. Okay. Guys, what's going on? Talk to me. Human vessel acknowledged. Why are you in this system? This vessel's licensed role is publicly filled and available for anyone with a level 4 or higher. Level 4 or higher security clearance. Or an orange level logistical access. Yes, we have those. You do not. What is the password to talk to the measured starbase? I am not authorized to release that information. Ah! Dignitary, maybe? Maybe they'll talk to me? Transmitting greetings. Greetings. Why are you in the system? Uh... Not helpful. Do I need to go to your home world? It is a criminal violation to interfere with a measured vessel acting with its, within its licensed role. Why aren't you moving? According to our field navigation records, we are moving through local space at 873 km per second, though our position relative to nearby stellar objects doesn't support this. Pretty sure you are moving. Are you suggesting you are moving, but the rest of the universe is wrong? It's easier than refilling the paperwork, refiling the paperwork. Clearly your engines are offline, is it possible that you have a malfunctioning momentum inhibitor? Yes, so our navigation records don't currently allow for a malfunctioning momentum inhibitor <coughs> to impact movement. We have scheduled a meeting to review the pertinent bylaws. How long will it take to change the bylaws? It is unlikely to happen in our lifetime. Would you like us to get you a new momentum inhibitor? Yes, you can requisition one from the gluttonous forge in this system. We'll need a passcode to communicate to that starbase. Transmitting. Cool. Why are you in the system? Mm. Do I have any of those? No. Fine. <coughs> You're annoying. Apply dialogue security validation. Submit password. Dialogue security validation token authentication matches. Regular dialogue commencing now. Hello. 
What do you hope to organize by contacting us? What are you doing here? We are capturing and cataloging uh, elements from this star. When a star is dying, it produces new elements in its upper layers as the core contracts and becomes hotter. Um, no, it produces new elements inside. Will that cause the star to die faster? Compared to the overall life of the star by an insignificant amount. Compared to the remaining life of the star, perhaps a bit more. Instead of exploding in a few decades, it will now expire in a few months. What if we collected some rare elements for you? Your tiny ship is unable to collect anything comparable to what we can draw off this star. We need a momentum inhibitor for a disabled measured ship. The requisition process for momentum inhibitor is, interestingly, one of the fastest in the known universe. Consequently, the order is already approved. The requested component is being dispatched to your ship now. The Mowling Zone Capsin need more time to escape this system. Our plans have been on file for centuries, well before the first Mowling colonized Capsin. Are you completely without empathy? Empathy is a poor substitute for an exhaustive set of laws. We have a gift for you. <laughs> gift acceptance protocol engaged and completed. Engaging level of 5, politeness total now. Thank you. You shouldn't have. Gift received. Activating gift now. Sounds of blubbering occasionally interrupted by discordant wheeze. Did someone put a cat in a centrifuge? No, we just realized how cool it is for all the other species in the world to live without a firm structure of the laws and administrative overhead. How do you know when to metabolize oxygen? When is the proper time to euthanize a worker with low productivity? How much salt to put on a wound? When is the proper time to euthanize a bad worker? Right after he trains his replacements. Now will you consider what you're doing to the Mowlings on Capsin? Yes, we will stop pulling elements off of the star and return to our system. We will even offer to take some of the Mowlings with us to help them with the decolonization efforts. Thank you! Goodbye. Goodbye. Finally found a use for the empathy machine. Good. Captain, while the gluttonous forge base activity stopped, it looks like the sun is not dying at its normal rate and we can collect the stable hyperlane readings we came for. And the mowlings are moving. Um, those. Hi. Do you have the fixed momentum inhibitor? Yes. That worked perfectly. Our engines are now operating as the navigational records indicate. I am required to provide you compensation for your services. Okay. Goodbye, human vessel. Do I need to actually do something with the star? Don't land on stars. Okay. Uh, okay, we found a measured forge. Contact Jeff. Let's see about Jeff. There's a communication satellite. Those look like mowling ships. Fanatic. Unidentified object. What is an unidentified object? The messenger of you wanta has returned. We'll be going now. Tell you wanta we're grateful for her blessings. Sure. Another unidentified object. Never mind. Let's go see about that satellite. 
I'm sure you won't mind me having a peek. Beacon access for your vessel has not been authorized by Jeff. Retreat will be disassembled by defense drones. How do I get authorization? Repeat, beacon access for your vessel has not been authorized by Jeff. We need to contact Jeff! Let's destroy the defense drones. Um, what can I pass on? Eradication Ryan Flak Cannon, a Pinty Hybrid. Pinty Hybrids are cool. Let's put the scout in. Oh no. Plasma shot. Whoops. Whoopsie. How about I do it this way? Uh, watch where you're going! gone already. Alright, there's another one. We're fighting. Yeah, that is really short ranged. Waste your energy. Defeat you with a scout and the Maulings couldn't beat you with millions? Sorry, I can't stay. Die already. Defense is offline. Initiate transmission with Jeff. 
Yes. Oh, good. Hi. Thank you for destroying my thrones. Can't wait for all the mouthings to be stopping by and bothering me again. Why, human? Why won't you let me rest? Uh, a son is dying. Do you know what happened to Captain Magara? Do I know what happened to a particular human several light years from here? No. Could I learn? Yes. yes. Will I? No. no. <laughs> uh, just wondering how you're doing. I am operating with acceptable parameters. Is there anything else? Uh, sun is dying, plan full of Maulins is about to die. Yes. The star of Etoshikios is close to consuming all of its fuel. Soon it will explode outward and release its mass to the universe, from which new stars and planets will be born. Yeah. Hardly the first time it's happened. You, uh, we do like explosions. But what about the Maulings on Cap Capsim? We have a few decades before the star explodes, and Maulings have short lifespans. Honestly, most will perish in industrial accidents long before. <laughs> Throw a few thousand on a spaceship and get them to resettle somewhere else. Given their absurdly high reproduction rates, they'll recover quickly. The sun is going to explode sooner than that. The measures are drawing energy from it. The measured forge is your real problem. Stop the measured, and the Malwins will have enough time to get their affairs in order. Though I doubt you will be able to get through to the measured. You may need a little assistance. At one point, a scribe legate in the region was seriously contemplating destroying the Malwings. To help them, without helping them too much, I gave them a machine. A machine which caused the scribe to take pity on them and let the Malwings live. The Malwings lost the machine within hours, because they never make anything easy <laughs> for themselves. Last I observed, it was in the Beta Nachmanovic system. Perhaps if you recovered it, you'd find the measured forge would also be influenced by it. As for getting the Malvin's affairs in order, I can speak from experience that you should not expect them to handle that all themselves. Some of the Malvin's should begin getting transported off the world immediately, and the Malvin's that remain should be sterilized. <laughs> the current generation will die out long before the star explodes. That will not be an easy conversation to have with them. I would suggest you bring visual aids. Tasteful ones. <laughs> Are you angry with the Mowlings? No. And if you're asking, I didn't cause their son to die or accelerate his death. But I can't watch the Mowlings forever. I need to leave this galaxy. That's why I left those drones behind, so the Malvins would only be able to contact me in a desperate situation. Bands of lone worshippers wouldn't get through. But of course, you blew those drones up, and now the Malvins will flood this system to speak to me. Lovely. Build your ones. Uh... How do we sterilize the Malvins? Separating the genders would be the quickest way. Chemical or surgical treatment could work as well, but there will be side effects to any solution. As capable as you are in space exploration, combat, and god play, that task is probably best left for the Mowlings to figure out for themselves. How do we transfer the Mowlings off of Captain? The Mowlings have transport ships. The problem <coughs> is determining who to save and who to leave on Captain. Stop the man shield, sterilize the modelings, invest in highest PF sunscreen. Got it. Sounds like you've got a handle on it all then. So long. Sorry. Let's just talk to the guys on Capsin, make sure they're okay. Welcome back to the final days of Capsin! Um, so about those measures. What about them? We got them to stop harvesting the sun and they'll help transport Maulings off Capsin. Oh. Uh, 
done that since Jeff. We hereby declare you to be a demi Jeff. Yay. <laughs> Happy to help. Yay. It's just a shame a whole bunch of us will be sterilized, though. Maybe if you Jeffed just a bit better. <laughs> uh. Jeff said the mullings that remain on Capsin would need to be sterilized. We came to the same conclusion. It was a fun day. It really? It would be fair to bring children into a world where the sun would explode. But on the other hand, an entire generation would come and go, never knowing what it was like to be a parent, to love a child. It's okay. Also, it might hurt a bit. What do you think we should do? Get off. Uh... I can decide that for you. Either option is horrible. Jeff said we need to start transporting Maulings off of Capsin. We've already started the process, but even if we had decades, it wouldn't be enough time. There's only so many Maulings you can fit on a ship before you start killing more than you save. We've learned. Hey, which Maulings do you think we should prioritize when choosing who to transport? Uh... Uh, I can't decide that either. You're right. Without a Jeff in hand, it has to be a Mowling to make the decision who lives and dies. We think about an election to determine who makes that decision. But the catch is those that vote can't leave the planet? Uh... That way they don't vote in their own self-interest. Uh. Good at picking who lives and dies. No. Consider it. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now the Kalidana system. Zoop. For the mega star. Yeah, it is. What the hell is that? Are those Mink Mac? What the hell's going on here? Captain, this looks like wreckage from a battle with the Xraki. There are some Mank Mac here. They're salvaging it or maybe just looting it. Probably not much of a difference with them. Looks like all the weapons and electronic systems have been removed. Obviously. Anything left? We're detecting some minerals we can salvage. Mostly just for their raw material. We'll collect that now. Okay. Also, if the Mank Mank are here, what are you? Finally, something to test out my new Exaki Black Hole Array Generator on! Hold still, I want to recall blowing you up. That would end poorly for you. No way I can lose with this expensive new weapon. You do not want to go though. Black hole array. Okay. Yeah, that explains a bit. Okay. Okay. You know I have a very long range weapon. Ow. Okay. We're fighting. Uh, a Mink Mac hybrid? No. A Mowlings hybrid? Let's give that one a try.
You broke my sucky black hole array. It was worth more than your whole ship. Why'd you get a weapon like that? A man can make arms dealer has custom Exaki weapons. Nothing you could afford though. And he's selling them to just about anyone. Well, just anyone, but yeah. If you have enough money. Where is that guy? Finding him in the Shibuta system. Go away, rookie. We love that one, right? There's a weapon shop. Geology Bazaar. Welcome to the Grand Geology Bazaar. What the hell? Can I interest you in some asteroid fragments? Planetary core samples. Interstellar does? We heard you have weapons. We heard geology wasn't real science. It's the best science. Your data is literally just laying around on the ground. You don't need to do any fancy math. Or any experiments more complex than using a rock polisher. And the best part is, you can sell your results. What about the weapons? Yes, I do. But you have to agree to keep this between us. It's not exactly legal, or more, or safe. You see, I have been scavenging weapons from ruined extract ships and selling them to anyone interested. You're endangering this entire system by treating powerful weapons like the toys for the rich. Well, here's the thing about me stopping. I have a lot of weapons. More than you. So there doesn't seem to be anything you can do about it. We have a lot of weapons too, and considerable experience in using them. I don't think you would be stupid enough to attack me. Ugly enough? Yes. But not stupid. You're right. So I'm going to keep selling weapons. Uh... What would it take to get you to stop? Everything has its price. How about uh, 50,000 are you? Deal. Ah, the only thing better than making money selling weapons is making money not selling weapons. I hope you're happy. But I want some of those actually. A black hole array? <clears throat> it's actually very dangerous. Welcome back to the Grand. Can I interest you in some asteroid fragments, Planet? I don't say. Remember when you blew up my escort and half my base? I didn't do anything, any such thing. Goodbye then. Maybe there was another way to go about it. Welcome back to the can I interest you in some asteroid fragments? No, never mind. Yeah, okay. Well, they said this exp this part of the DLC will be about fighting uh, star bases, and I treated with one, and then with the other one. Let's see about blowing it up instead.
Welcome. Can I interest you in some asteroid frag? Yes, I do. But you have to agree to eat not or you see, I have been scavenging weapons from ruined Exraki ships. Let's see what you have. A wide variety of exotic weapons, including black hole arrays, unstable flamethrowers, and a black hole missile pod. Oh dear god. Uh I want this. Nice, that one's my favorite. And I want this. Ah, I've heard good things about the black hole array. I'm sure you'll love it. And this. Mm, the unstable flamethrower. That'll ruin someone's day. Hopefully not yours. Alrighty. Um, give me a second. Nearest. Nearest <coughs> trader. <coughs> Uh, outfit. The Destiny Missile. Switch it up for the for the unstable flamethrower. Extremely powerful compared to the regular flamethrowers. Unfortunately, it's so powerful that even your own crew will perish. No, black hole pod. Launches an inaccurate but deadly salvo of three tracking warheads that pursue a target and detonate black holes. Give me this into a black hole array. You're insane. Now let's stop that guy. Welcome back to the can I interest you in some asteroids? Yes. You mean like the you hit well here's the thing about me so more so there doesn't seem to be anything you can do about it. We can report you for a little weapon trading. To who? Other than you and a few people who have accidentally shot themselves, no one wants to shut this place down. Uh, we could report you to the Liberators, they don't like arms dealers. Well, then I guess I can't let you get away. Check this out, human. Let's bring the Vindicator. Oh my god! Hey, you said tracking. Ow. Ah, oh, shit. Damn, these guys are energy intensive.
Okay, that's it. Need to get away from those things. Salvation is not great. And the recharge rate is awful. Stop staying so close! Each of these things require a full freaking battery! Yes, I would like to replay this battle. Uh, send in that guy. Heavy Dunfire Missile and a Phaser. Yeah, fine. Uh, an Observer, maybe? I didn't think they're gonna survive a lot anyway. Taiwan battle cruisers. These are cool ships, I don't want to use them. A scoundrel.
Oops. Not done, not done. Let's use an infection. Bye bye. All right, all right, I'll stop selling weapons. Geology is a much safer profession. I hope you're happy. Thank you. Uh, let's switch out those weapons, they are absurd. missile, destiny missile, and a phaser. Thank you. Okay, next stop on our trip. Strange transmissions in La Seal 8760. That's human space, pylon space, fishy space. Okay. Whoa, I'm dropping a lot of frames. That's really weird. Captain, we're detecting high levels of radiation in the system radiating out from the Mukei research facility, research station. Why am I dropping so many frames? Network drops. I'm having network issues. The recording is fine. Oh, the recording is fine. Okay, there's a weird station over here. What is that? There's more under super fucking waves than in the sky above. What are you guys? Excuse me. Hello, Earthling. What are you doing here? I was planning to discuss signal from your Earthling station Deep Horizons. They've put out a request looking for information about a missing commander. Do you know anything about that? We know Commander Magara is missing, but not where he is. Not very useful. And I will continue my search elsewhere. Okay. What about this thing? I normally. Captain, I don't <clears throat> know what that is, but it's definitely alive. What? Well, maybe not alive, but it's definitely looking at us. It isn't responding to any communications, not even a blink. Okay. Or possibly forever. It's an anomaly. Well, that's it then. We're already in the seal system. Okay, let's go back to Beacon 807. Have you resolved all the issues we detected? 
to some extent. The black holes in Kalidana were caused by weapons. We closed an illegal weapon shop to put a stop to it. Your solution to the problem was effective and would keep future gatherings from causing similar issues. <coughs> the respect has grown for you. Hopefully, your appreciation of the need for our tight control of this sector has grown as well. Eh. Is that it? We got the mass readings from the Atasifio system. You used an empathy machine? What a cowardly way to dominate an opponent. One step above blaring romantic music into their communication system or singing them hard. <laughs> they were going to a falling for it. As long as it got a job done. <clears throat> Describe Sam Candy House? No, actual hearts. <laughs> The more engorged with blood, the better. However, despite your needless desire to save lesser species, you did take the measurements correctly. We will now be able to update the hyperlane mass charts. Is that it? We're still investigating. Do so with haste. Wait, so. Open shop is closed. Open shop is closed. Use the empathy machine. Got the thing in the Sifios. Yeah, the Sifios is fine. I contacted Jeff. So we're not done though. What is this? Owens. Alien settlement. Whoop. It's quick. Many large and delighted bubbles, Federation member. You did it. You stopped the Yitzraki. You should check with the Abyssal Consul on Mukayan. They'll certainly want to thank you personally. They did. I want to talk to you about emissions and radiation. Alien settlement. Maybe I should talk to the alien settlement? Uh, hi. No buzz. The name contains all necessary information. But you are Volksnan. You wonder. You see many other Volksnan. Biology interests you. We will humor you. Vokas were once born in Vokal Depth. A crystalline world with vast caves. Vokal's body suits the Vokal Depth surroundings. Now we are elsewhere, but Vokal's remains the same. What are you doing here? In the caves near here, we collect minerals. Not for manufacturing or making Vox Tech. We collect nutrients, food, send to other Vokas. Vokas eat minerals. You are Voxnan. This amuses you. This is not this sustainable. This is fine. Pleasant humming to you then. Eating minerals is not sustainable. Okay, I'm not gonna get anything from them.
What's that? I missed that earlier. Splish! Uh, I will try that. Nothing experiments in above water environments, but all this dust is just awful. Uh, what do you know about the resource station in this system? They started their work on this planet, but weren't able to perform their experiments because of the gravity and our laws. So they purchased that old space station and moved their laboratories there. At first we didn't mind, we assumed they would blow themselves up in a place where they couldn't hurt anyone but themselves. But now we aren't sure. Have you had any negative side effects from the station's experiments? None that we've detected. There must be some negative consequences. The experiments were squeaky. There must be some evidence out there in the system. Maybe you could manufacture some data showing negative effects? That doesn't seem very ethical. Good point. Uh, it's more ethical and uh, we'll do this right away. Splish. Uh, give me a second. Squeak! Our delightful and often violent human allies. Hi. No need for your delightfully violent services today, humans. We're in the middle of critical experiments. Please go away. Um, dangerous levels of radiation are flooding the system. What? What are you up to? Perhaps, but your crude instruments aren't capable of measuring the value of our work. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, warning missile. What are you doing? the risk of damaging our precious mantles, you're introducing confounding variables into our research. We are getting your attention. Squeak. We've considered your ability to distribute enormous amounts of violence and come to a decision. We will halt our experiments if you bring us something proving our experiment is having a negative impact on the region. What are you doing? Go away. Please. What the hell are you doing? Hi. Captain, this is the strange eye creature we met before. We could try to scan it, but that may provoke it. Scan it. We need the data. It's attacking. Uh, infection. I normally mass infect and a flamethrower. Well, I have contagions. Get him, my pretties. Yeah, we destroyed it. From now on, it can only hurt us in our dreams. Which it still might. We are scanning the remains for any signs of contamination from the Muke research station. Yeah, there it is. This was definitely caused by those mischievous little squids. We should return to the research station with this evidence. Received evidence. Good work. Good work, people. Good work. that our research is dangerous? Yes. Hmm. This data certainly suggests that our experiment is likely to destroy a significant portion of this universe. Thank you. Not all of it, though. And we'd certainly be published in every surviving scientific journal. Assuming any would actually survive the process of becoming a malevolent ooze that devours stars. Very well. We will cancel our experiments. What should we do with this artifact we have been studying? Give it here. After
after seeing this radiation data, we'll be more than happy to have it far away from here. I may want to lay eggs myself one day. Yes, consider that. Have you laid eggs yet? Oh, that's right. You humans do it that other... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Lumina Carcellum. Which is what? This dark beacon flickers with darkness instead of light, casting shadows on the surface around it. Interesting. What the hell was that? You're annoying. Okay, okay. Back to beacon. Before we do that, let's replenish. Where are you? Okay. Manage fleet. Recruit. Something that doesn't cost me. Technology caster. Galoosh Tangler. Um, raw Exile. No, I'm not using that. The Energizer Bolt. Here an interceptor, sure. Okay. Now there. Through the sun. Excuse me, focus. Hi. Not all Scriver is willing to accept lesser species as the custodians of Beacon 807. For us, the war continues. Very world for someone dressed like a can can dancer. Seriously? You do not want to mess with me. How far is your beam going? I can do this from afar too. Okay, can we stop now? You have returned? Yes. Have you resolved all the issues you detected? Yes. We start the Mooka research station in La Silla 8760 from pursuing a digest experiment. A group of scientists have the capacity to destroy a solar system and you talk them out of it. Mm -hmm. Have you met a scientist before? How long before they talk themselves back into it? Seems like a temporary solution at best. Maybe. But as it turns the issue is handled for the moment. You have returned, human. Yes, you said that. Have you resolved all the issues we detected? 
with all of the issues, can we have the hyperspace maps now? There is one mass pass we have to do. Of course. This one is by far the most critical to the security of the square. A threat had originated on your home planet. The next sites. Information about them is sparse. But a reliable source has told us that they were seen at a space station in the Captain Star System. Your search can begin there. Or perhaps your human allies might know something. Hang on a minute. Game capture is weird. Okay. Uh, do that again. Uh, yeah, the Lexites. They may be seen a space station in the Captain's star system. Your search can begin there, or perhaps your human allies. What are we looking for? Why are the Lexites a threat to you? They are powerful, and their motives are unknown. If you are to be custodian of the spur, you must realize that the enemy in front of you is less dangerous than the enemy you are not aware of. Yeah, I know. Find the Lexites and ensure that they are not a risk to the spur. Let's go. Captain's star. Drinking territory. Plant controls. There's faint radioactivity coming from this system. Can't tell from which world, though. What are you? Glush Lugger. Mm, yeah. What what is it? What are you doing out here? As little as possible. I'm still a cartographer. I map the stars. Let me know if I'm going too quick for you. Uh have you found anything interesting? No, they're stars. From this far away they're all basically the same. From closer, well, ugh, all that work getting closer. I'm supposed to be placing beacons on and around a whole bunch of these. But, hmm, that can wait. They don't move very fast though, so I take my time. Bye bye. Yes. Oh, too much cocoa for me. No, too much cocoa for me. You get leftovers. Okay. Thank you for the cocoa. You dog. Okay. Okay, Captain's Bar. Okay, Famish travelers and Mankmak pirates eat and discuss business. Taiwan try to join in any conversation that they can actually usually without success. Interesting. Order a drink. You sit at the bar and have a drink. It doesn't take long before you find yourself in a conversation with a group of overly talkative aliens. Let's go about the next sites. You drink and ask questions, moving between rowdy groups of famished conspiracists, glush wait a second, glush drinkers and a large ring of cheering aliens watching a Mowling fighting championship. Most of the most of the betting seems to be on which Mowling will stab himself first. But no one has heard of the Lex Science. You are about to give up when one of the Menkmak mentions that you are friendlier than the last time he tried to talk to you. You are sure you have never met him before. When you ask if he is sure it was you, he says that all humans look alike to him, though he is pretty sure you were watch wearing the same uniform. Uh, what did the other human did while he was there here? The Mad Max says he tried to talk to him but was ignored. He doesn't remember him being with anyone or being here for long. The other human talked to the bartender and then went upstairs. He probably rented a room. You heard over to talk to the bartender. Ask Bartender about the other human. The Bartender refuses to give you any information about patterns of the bar. You argue with him for nearly an hour before he stops talking to you altogether. A few minutes later, he whispers something to a Taiwan busboy, which sends him scurrying upstairs. Follow the Taiwan. He follows the Taiwan from a discreet distance. He heads up to room 37828, knocks twice, and then unlocks and opens the door to the room.
Oh yeah. Often the door to the room. The time one goes purple, makes an audible sucking sound, drops the key and flees down the hallway towards... Towards you, you hide in the alcove as he passes by, then head down to check out the room. Room 3728 is a bedroom complete with a small kitchen. One wall is a multi-purpose screen and the others are covered with faded yellow paint. The smell hits you first, rotting human flesh trapped for weeks in a small room. Your eyes go to the source of the, of the stench, a dead body lying in the center of the bed wearing a star control uniform. It looks like you found the missing Commando Magara. Make sure there's no one else. Whoever murdered Magara is long gone. There isn't much space to hide in the small room, and you quickly make sure no one else is in it. What next? What killed him? Half of his head is missing. The remaining bits of skull, brain and skin were instantly cauterized by whatever killed him, leaving a look of panicked surprise on what's left of his face. What next? He was sliced with a thermal blade. There is a scorch mark on the wall over the bed. In the kitchen area, the silverware has all been pulled out and the pillows are scattered haphazardly and the mattress is slightly offset on the frame. You search the rest of the room Feeling like you're walking through exactly the same step as the murderer, but you don't find anything interesting. We're done here. You talk to the staff at the bar as well as aliens in the adjacent rooms. No one knows anything useful. Apparently Magara paid up front for a month and still has a few days left on the room. After a lot of questions that don't go anywhere, the bar agrees to allow you to take Magara's body and they load it onto your ship. You should return to the Deep Horizons and put him to rest. Damn. Is there anything else I can do here? We caught new crew? Cool. Drink? A group of Dunkend are singing karaoke in the, in the back of the bar. Some Taiwan were cheering them on, but the rest of the bar is getting angry at the discordant wailing. A famished trader throws a mug at the drinking singles. This causes groups on both sides to jump up and sends maulings carrying for help in all directions. Uh... Still, I haven't finished the drink. The bar erupts into violence around you. By the time it's over, most of the patrons have been kicked out of the bar and it's a much quieter place to drink. What next? Uh, because I'm in the group of aliens. Don't ask about anything. Jobs? An electronic monitor flickers with activity. Jobs appear and disappear. Sometimes only showing is available for, less, for a few seconds before being claimed. Most jobs are trivial affairs picked up by local freelancers for a few are used. Larger jobs are occasionally listed. A glue stellar cartographer wants a beacon placed on the planet Mayhem. A Taiwan xenobiologist wants a rare basher from the serpent system. A Muki engineer needs lots of gold for special projects. Let's look at that. A Mayhem is the planet distant Gamma Tria system. Former attempts to place a beacon there have failed, and the job costs 5,000 are used to get a new one securely placed. Sure. And move the cartographer and the Gamma Tria system to collect a beacon and more details on the mission. Leave the job board. Leave. Find out what the Lexites are up to. Return Magara's corpse. Uh, Some been seen at a space station. That's not helpful. Fine, uh, let's do this thing. No. Uh, it's that guy. Hi. What is it? We received a job to place a beacon for you? You did! Great! I really didn't want to have to fly all the way out now. Even giving you the beacon is a bit of a hassle, but I guess I'll manage. 
Here, place this beacon on main hand, make sure it's kill. Will do. What the hell is main hand? Okay, I'm gonna system. Zoom. Yeah, it needs to be closer to human space, okay. Or further away. Or much further away. Or very, very far away. Where is Planet Mayhem? Captain, this is the planet the Gloosh cartographer wanted us to deploy the beacon on. Okay. Do it. Captain, the beacon has been deployed. What a fun day. Okay. Uh, let's see if he wants to talk to me about it. Damn, I'm dropping a lot of frames. Captain, we're receiving an error from the beacon we placed on Mian. Okay. Can we tell what's happening? It's still broadcasting, so it hasn't been destroyed. But it's also moving, which wasn't really part of the plan. So, it either gained sentience, or it's been stolen. Can you tell me about that? Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. Did you steal a beacon? Yes, I'm racial profiling. Uh, exotic goods in both this universe and many of our more fashionable neighbors. Do you need a life-size diamond body pillow? What about a baby mop? Or maybe you need a rare mauling gun that only fires backwards. Is the Taiwan body pillow even made by the Taiwan or is it shaped like a Taiwan? Whatever you consider less disturbing. What is a baby mop? You really know what I want to know. Isn't a gun that fires backwards dangerous? Not your enemies. Do you know anything about a missing beacon? Can't say that I do. I mean, maybe I don't know. Or maybe I do, and just can't say. Did you pick up anything from Meehan? Definitely not. Meehan has been claimed by the Gloosh. Savaging from it would be illegal. Uh, are you sure I didn't pick up anything on Meehan? Definitely not. Maybe you should search for the beacon in the shadow remains of your ship. Okay, okay, no reason to get violent. We're all just trying to get by. I will transfer the beacon to your ship. Thank you. Stop being annoying. Captain, we're replacing the stolen beacon now. Let's hope it doesn't wander away this time. Yeah, just stop being annoying. I do the other mission even though they're junk missions. Uh, place your beacon. I haven't had read the readings yet, but still, you saved me a trip. I noticed someone tampered with the beacon. How did you deal with them? We persuaded them to do the right thing. Strange, you don't seem particularly persuasive or even likable. Here is $5,000 user reward to post it on the job board. Thank you. Not that I need them. How many resource units do I have? Too many. Yeah... 
drink. Never mind. Uh, sure, why not? You will need a stun gun, yeah, investigate the planets in the supplement system, find a bashel and a live specimen. Look, engineer requires lots of gold. 80 gold. Okay. Let's do the first thing first. What is that? There was something there. There was something weird over there. What the hell is that? Okay, that's a star, so let's check out Fable. Fable has no minerals. Has the beacon and the librarian. So let's ch check out something a bit more hospitable. Captain, we're detecting some animals on the surface that match the description of the ones we were asked to capture. Bashers, they were called. Looks like an accurate description. We should head down and, very carefully, capture one with a stun cannon. Okay, let's do it. No gold. That's a passion, right? One basher. Do you want more than one basher? I can get more. have been placed by the gloosh. Doesn't need to be anything we can do here. Huh. That's the thing I saw in space. Okay, so those are bashers. Found a basher. Uh, delivered to the xenobiologist in the serpent system, so it's right here. Did you have a problem getting a basher? And you find this far out into the universe. What a happy day, or night, or whatever it is here in space. I've captured that basher you wanted. This specimen is perfect. There's no way I could have captured it in, on my own. Thank you. I owe you a reward. Is there anything else? <coughs> How is that basher working out? He's resisted my charm so far. I'm going to give it another few days, and then I might put him back on Erendal and move on to the next species. Um, what are you doing? I'm a xenobiologist. I'm collecting animals from around the spur to study and make friends with. Mainly, I'm trying to find a specimen that has low enough standards to make suitable pets for us on Tywomia. We were so overindulgent with our native pets that they all died due to unhealthy diets and a strong disgust for each other. Do the Tywomia yourselves have the same issue? We do! Fortunately, on the rare occasion that the Tywom does mate, thousands of eggs are, are laid. Most of the Tywom are at least first cousins with each other. That explains so much. Is there anything else? Thanks, bye. Now, he wants gold. 80 gold. Where am I gonna find gold?
Hopefully it didn't clean up every planet. No gold. Mineral hunting is the worst job in the world. That's where it is. No gold. Pay for gold. Nah. Nah. Oh, that's not a lot of gold, but it's a start. <laughs> if I'm already here. Where is the antimatter? Thank you. Now I need seventy five gold. I need a crystal world or oh, does it world? Does it world works? That'll bring me up to 45. So we'll need 35. I especially hate collecting from these types of planets.
Uh, just platinum. And gold is done. Get me the hell out of here. Crystal world, let's check it out. Soul crystals, no. Canyon? Is that good? No. No. Canyon, 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 Canyon. Terrestrial Canyon. Canyon, 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 volcanic. I'm guessing this is a no. Volcanic. No. Canyon, Canyon, Terrestrial, Canyon, 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 Crystal, Toxic. Yeah, drunken space music, degenerate matter. Canyon, canyon, vegetative, quasi degenerate. Let's see what that means. Degenerate meadow hasn't done neutrinos, no. Let's try the next one over. Desert Canyon Desert is good. Oh, just enough gold. That was not the gold. Great. Just enough gold. Mr. Wizard, get me the hell out of here.
Who said what needed what now? Okay, based on the seal, 8764. Seriously. What is that? Captain, this appears to have once been an Xraki warship, but something is merged with it. We aren't detecting any life signs aboard. Aren't the Pentheon the only ones who do this? What is caused by the research station? It's impossible to tell for sure, but we are detecting the same type of radiation we observed at their research station. We'll collect some data now to show the little squids. Okay. I might need to come back to that. You don't want to talk to me anymore. What's the gold about? Uh, we got the station shut down. You may have saved us from a threat we didn't even know existed. You have our thanks. Is that a reward? You mean like money? No. But you can have our extra special thanks. Um, not done. We heard you need... Uh, let's do the other thing. If humans are going to become a bigger player in the spell, we need to protect it. Okay. Um, what's the gold for? Yes, gold can be hammered to a transparent conductive material that is only 230 atoms thick. By running an electron field through it, we can create a nearly invisible dome for our colony. But we need at least 80 units of gold to do it. Go ahead. That is wonderful. Thank you for your help. We have enough gold left over to fashion a gold version of our Grasper ship just for you. It's faster and stronger and than a normal ship. Okay. Any work? We don't have a package that needs to be delivered to the other edge of the galaxy or an enemy that we need you to turn into small bits, if that's what you're asking. I suppose we do have some radioactive material that we would like to get, be rid of. That's the kind of work someone like you should be capable of. Sure. Thanks for taking that off our tentacles. How about we kill that? Captain, this is the infected Xraki warship we found earlier. Let's just blow it up just in case. I sure feel better with that thing gone. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Back to Star Control. Sad news. Welcome back, Captain. Um. No. Anything else, Captain? Whoever or what? What was the objective? Deep Horizons. Well, sorry. Deep Horizons. That's a different place. Uh, Deep Horizons. I thought we were going to bring up the stock control. That, that's the poison. What the hell is that? Terran Dry Dock. Hello, Captain. What are you? We are manufacturing the powerful Terran Battlecruiser. With these ships, humanity will be able to exert real control over this region. Maybe the whole spur. Okay. Did, did Commander What's Her Name approve this? Welcome back, Captain. Uh, we have bad news. Commander McGar was murdered. That's horrible news. But at least you brought him home. 
We will have an autopsy performed before we enter him. We perform the autopsy. As you might suspect, death was caused by a massive laser blast to the face. We aren't sure what kind of weapon would do that. From the power output, it almost looks like it was a ship's laser that had been converted into a handheld weapon. More interestingly, we found an object in his esophagus, as if he swallowed it a few minutes before he was killed. The object is a smooth piece of computronium, like the Lexites use. Unfortunately, we don't have the technology to read it. A quick survey of the aliens on the station suggests most other species won't be able to either. We will send it back to your ship, in case you find someone who can. Also, if you can think of anyone that would repurpose a ship's laser into a gun, it might help us track down the Gara's killer. I feel computronium sliver. Smooth stone feels heavier than it should, and when you look closely, you can see thin lines of light pulsing in its dull grey surface. I think smart matter. Now what? Uh, should see if I can find anyone who would do such a thing. Maybe the. What's their face? The Liberators. Maybe they know something. Are you well? Thank you again for saving me. I didn't think I was going to get out of that situation on my own. Okay, not helpful. With the Syndicate headquarters destroyed, we're already seeing their influence in the region where... Again, well done. Is there anything else you need done? Many things. But few you can help with right now. The Liberators have much to do to prepare this region. We'll contact you again when we need you. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm playing part four. Still have one dash on. Let's go talk to the scribe, I guess. Hmm? Yes. They want to fight, let's fight. You had 
returned to my have you found information about the next site? Can you decode Computonium? This is incredible. A transformation of matter into pure analytical material. Powered polymorphic possibly sentient. This is Lexite technology? No. We have reason to assume so. Uh, I thought you were super advanced and we were all lesser species. Humans are a lesser species, but the Lexites have become something different. Who could decode it? No species native to this earth has this power. Perhaps that probe that the Maulings revere hmm. is having <coughs> outside of the star. Okay, yeah, he was my next choice. Uh, what was it? What was it? Yeah, so I needed to do that anyway. Did you build a station? Hello humans, welcome to the Jeff Worshipping Station. What do you do here? At the Jeff Worshipping Station, we worship Jeff. We had to build a station to accommodate all the Maulings who wanted to worship Jeff. We are so giddy that Jeff has returned to us. As giddy as we imagine he was to see us again. So odd he put all those scary drones to stop us from using the beacon. But it's a universe rich in mystery. These things happen. Bye Jeff. Bye Jeff! We'll be going. Bye bye! You guys are nuts. Defenses offline. Initial transmission with Jeff. Yes. Humans. The Maoris continue to wear our patient's thing. What is it now? <coughs> Just don't answer the call. We saved the Mullings on Capsin! Good. Well, not good, but not bad. Knowing the Mullings, they will find a way to return to the brink of extinction soon. We have some computer on you. Can you read it? Eject it from your ship and send it to this nearby beacon. I will create another instance to examine it. What is another instance? I know what another instance is. I will not connect directly to Lexite technology. I could be compromised. Mm -hmm. They are potent kin of yours, human. Instead, I will create an instance of myself to read it, and then destroy that instance afterwards. Go ahead. A moment. I see. This is a massive amount of data. There's very little structure to it. And no context, but it seems to contain a recording of the movement of every particle within a star. No, a whole solar system. Do you have any idea what this might be for? No. A neural network of Lexite? That is an interesting thought. With this much data and detail on it, it is similar to a neural network. Albeit a very complex one. A huge one. I am seeing some patterns in the data. Ratios <coughs> between the data recorded on the nodes, which matches the gravitational constant and barycentric dynamical time. This is a galactic map with enough precision to be used for hyperspace travel. What is it a map of? This looks to be a map of a single solar system. But it doesn't match with any systems I know of. The gravitational markers are so exact that I should be able to place it. It looks to be in the spur. It looks to be a solar system the Lexites were routing through. I'm sending back the coordinates so they will be added to your hyperspace map. We'll check it out. Terrific. 
So long. Thank you. We got the computer and decoded. It was a map of the Qualia system, which didn't exist before. It's a new system, that'll be cool. It's a new system! It's a new fucking system. I haven't locked it. It's a brand new system. Healy. Canyon planet. Very hot, lifeless. Unidentified object. Unknown entities. Like side drones. Yeah, looks like. Was the other ones? There we go. Galamid turret. Crypto security though. <laughs> Was that place of thing? Captain, looks like this is a Lexite station, an undamaged one. Shields are full strength, doors are locked. Looks like an ID card scanner. We happen to have one of these lying around. We need to leave it away, leave it for now. Path, crystal planets. Lots of stuff, unidentified objects. Captain, this debris looks like it came from a destroyed starbase. We'll cover what we can.
Well, there's some cool stuff here to collect. Let's have a look at that station. Captain, it looks like there was a Lexite starbase here. Not currently here though, just a wreckage. Any indication of what destroyed it? Looks like Lexite weapons or something very close to them did this damage. Maybe they had some internal disputes. Anything we can uncover? We aren't seeing anything worth salvaging, however, a large section of the base are missing, possibly blown up during the attack, and maybe worth searching the rest of the system for them. That's what I did. So let's do that again. There's something I'm not seeing. So I've got nothing. <gasps> they didn't leave anything. So now what? What now? Hmm. Let's talk to Start to Jeff again. Yeah. 
humans, the Malways continue to wear my patient's skin. Don't answer the phone, man. Just don't answer the, answer the phone. I'm sorry for being bothered. Fine, you don't want to talk? Let's not talk. Let's go back to the beacon. Halt! You will be destroyed for your own safety. That doesn't sound safe. Lexi probe. Optimized nuke? What the hell is that? Oh, we're fighting this thing. I don't Oh, we're fighting. We are fighting. Throw in the charlatan. Damn. We got to turn on the shields. Let's see the dangler. No, let's do that. Okay. Apparently I'm onto something. I'm only gonna need a lot more than that to destroy me. Okay, then I'm a bit stuck. Who could convert a ship's laser cannon into a handheld weapon? Mac maybe? Maybe the measured? Maybe the measured will know.
Supply dialogue objective statement with supplemental information exchange authorization form following process V38967.3. Mission to engage in interspecies dialogue H3 small talk class. Granted. We have received interesting news. The scribe, they have broken off communications with us. That's the most interesting thing you've heard? Yes. You stopping an existential threat is also interesting. Just less interesting. If the scribe are not communicating with us, it means we are alone. It means we are no longer part of the Empire. Fortunately, we have a protocol for this. Good. Of course you do. We will decide what to do for ourselves. And that decision is, we will keep records. Thinking well within the box here, guys. Your discovery of our true name is also an exciting development. We will retask all bylaw enforcement vessels to begin looking for more clues about our past. Self permission granted to thank you for providing us this opportunity. Thank you for providing us this opportunity. Uh, we we'll require information. Welcome, returning Lev to visiting scholar. What information do you require? Uh. Hmm. In 1309, while of young, hmm. through this great consequence, the and the since then, hence the scribe, approximately 28. Who do you wish to know about? What information do you require? You're not helpful. Maybe I should talk to the guy in the weapon shop. The story isn't still there. Welcome back to the Grand Geology Bazaar. Oh, great, it's you, my favorite customer. Can I interest you in some no. all of which have much smaller margins compared to selling weapons? So, thanks again for that. Did you make a laser gun out of ship's laser cannon? Of course, I would never do anything like that. Uh, again. But yes. Perhaps, once, before you showed me the error of my ways, I might have customized a Lexite laser into a handheld form. It was a particularly ingenious piece of work. I called it the Death Beam. No sense being cute about it. Can you make us one? No, I don't sell weapons anymore, remember? Or buy them, or make them, or fondle them while I sleep. Who did you sell this death beam to? Normally I would never disclose a customer's identity. But as you are my very best customer, I'll make an exception. Her name is Nixalura, one of the few Xraki to survive the war. An Xraki? She is an assassin, and a very expensive one. Why would an Xraki assassin kill a human starbase commander? I don't know. What can we find though? She usually hangs out in the Epsilon Orchidium system. But be careful. She values her privacy and is likely to kill anyone who comes too close. Bye bye. Goodbye then. Be ready for a fight. Epsilon or Kidium. Uh, 
Uh, this one. This one. Yes. Hello, thing. What has brought you out this small corner of the galaxy? There is no one to exterminate here. Who are you? Someone who is not answering that question. What are you doing out here? We're investigating the murder of Commander Magar. And who told you I had anything to do with that? We don't reveal our sources. And there is no use keeping you alive. Oh, come on. Hang on, I need some time to recharge. It is a powerful laser. Oh, we are fighting. You want focal laser? I've got a focal laser. Stop, Earthling, I surrender. What do you want to know? Who hired you to kill Commander Magar? How are you still here? The Xaki penetrated the origin many years ago in small numbers. Forerunners, we were to prepare the region for the emergence, the emergence of the Hungry Eyes. You stopped that, famously so, but I survived. My language is probably better than you are used to hearing from Exaki. I have spent a long time among the aliens of the Spur. The chaos has faded to the edges of my vision. All I do now is survive. Who hired you to kill Commander Magara? The Lexite Vanguard. Lexites are fleeing the spell of the galaxy, you surely know this. Some want to leave the rest of you humans behind entirely, not all. The ones that don't, the Vanguard, left a map to their destination hidden within deep horizons. They hoped one day soon humans would find it and follow them. Commander Magara was the wrong one to find it, an isolationist. Funny how much of your own history I have to explain to you. Magara and the others working with him stole the map to attempt to keep mankind from following the Lexites. The Vanguard didn't specifically order me to kill Magara, but just to return the map to Deep Horizons. Magara wasn't cooperating. For the Lexite Vanguard. Humans, or at least they were once humans. You understand the transition to Lexite better than I. The Vanguard are the faction of Lexites fleeing fastest. They're also the ones who still harbor something approaching goodwill towards humans. They have left the spell by now, but before they did, they had me to look after the map. What were you looking for in the room? The map. Miguel would have a map on him, but I never found it. He either never had it or lost it before I found him. How are you going to be paid? They left payment behind for me and gave me an ID chip to collect it. Give it here. Give, give, give me the chip, please. Won't do you any good without the map, but I will send it over. After all, I was pocketing humanity by attempting to recover the Lexite map. Don't cross our allies again. This is close that I'd like to come to death, so I will find a less risky career. Yeah, you do that. Sheesh. Final piece of the puzzle!
Is this the end? I think this is the end. Open up. Looks like this is less a station and then damaged one. Shields are up, doors are locked. Looks like an ID scanner. We happen to have one of those lying around. Use Nick's Lure's ID chip. That worked. The lender crew is investigating the station now. They found a message for Nick's Lure and 20,000 LUs, probably her payment for assassinating Commander Magara. What does the message say? Sending a copy. Captain, this looks like the information about the Lexite plans we were looking for. We should debrief Deep Horizons about what we found. And with this, hopefully the Sky Beacon will share the hyperspace maps with us. Um... What was it? Banker message. Nick Salura, your bounty is included. Watch for others that would attempt to follow us. As long as the map remains, they will have the means to do so once they pass the threshold. Back to Deep Horizons. What about that Thai dock? That's scary. Welcome back, Captain. There's information about the Lexites. You do? What is it? Fill in the horizons with the information on the Lexites about the Lexites from the message. Well, that's fascinating, Captain. Thank you. I will forward that onto Star Control back in Seoul. I could have done that. On that note, and while it's come a little late to help with that mission, a prototype Terran battle cruiser has just arrived from home. Oh boy! Scares me just having it around here. I trust you'll put it to good use. Oh boy! Terran battle cruiser. Huge recharge. Very slow. Challenged warhead and point defense. A golden grasper. Ooh, a golden grasper. I have no idea what it's for. Anyway. Not taking the ammo. Give me that. Give me a frigate. And another frigate. And... I don't even have any small ships left. Well, not that small. Is there anything else, Captain? No. Good luck, Captain. Okay. Okay, the legs side plus, they left a spur. I'm trying to cut off any ability to follow them. We should share this information. Uh, we should report back to the sky beacon and decide that we are willing to share with them. I don't know what I'm willing to share with them.
This probably is the final battle. You have returned, human. Have you found information about the next sites? We uncovered the next site plans. Our spies learned of some of this. We know that one of your own was assassinated, Commander Magara. And yet you allowed the assassin who did it to go free. Do you hope that she will one day return your generous favor? I suspect you will be disappointed. No, I'm not counting on that. Well, this is a little consequence. What did you learn about the Lexite's grander plans? Uh... I can tell them that. They left the spell because they detected a threat from outside the sector. As have many. Once advanced worlds gone suddenly dark, probes even entire fleets that never return. The next sites seem to understand that when responding to significant threats, lesser concerns like morality can't limit a being's actions. Your tasks for us are complete. You resolve some of the issues we gave you with diplomacy and some with violence. This may demonstrate a sound strategic mind, or perhaps indecision. Go with yourself. I do not know. I was not there. As a custodian, you alone can stand in judgment of yourself. For now, the spur is quiet and you have proven yourself a capable custodian. We are uploading the hyperspace maps to your ship. Earth will be free to spread into the spur and claim new worlds. Cool. Uh, we are ready for the challenge. Better days for all sentient beings will come soon. Don't be an ass. So, I should have new, s new maps, new systems. I don't see any new systems. Is that the end? I don't see any new systems. Uh, someone's gonna catch me when I step out, right? No, that's just a scribe. Um, right now, this is the best ship in the galaxy. Let's go report back. Start with Deep Horizons. Space dock is under attack from human ships. What the hell? Great hero of humanity. You still work for humanity, Captain. You've spent an awful long time amongst the aliens. Humans have no business venturing out into space. What are we doing meddling in the affairs of aliens? It will only bring us doom. It already almost has. We have enough troubles back on Earth. We need to focus our energies there, not on battle stations like this. Don't try and stop us, the isolationists will prevail. Oh, come on! This isn't the way. It doesn't matter. Time to die. Really? God damn it, I'm not doing anything. Uh, 
I need something more powerful. What the hell just happened? Captain! Thanks for your help. I can't believe we got attacked by a splinter group of human isolationists. That sucks. <laughs> uh, we have got some hyperspace mouse from the sky. Great work! We are transmitting them back to Seoul now. With these hyperspace maps, we'll finally be able to expand beyond just our neighborhood. Not only that, our battle cruiser production is coming along nicely. We'll be able to project real power over the region now. I've heard whispers around here, Captain. Alien whispers, but understandable just the same. We're about to enter the age of humanity, whether they're ready for it or not, or happy about it or not. Every alien knows it. And it's all thanks to you, Captain. However the future unfolds, it will be on human terms. Well done. Stagopol! Cool. That was the story of Earth Rising. Thanks for saving us. Terran Battle Cruiser production will continue. Okay. I'm a bit scared by that, but okay. Uh, what did we say that thing does? Channels Warhead and Point Defense. Yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's it's big. Okay. That's the end of Stock Control. That was everything. See you in a year or two in Stock Control 2. And bye bye.